suits and sandals. Fancy. That's me. <laughs> and pirates. It's always pirates. Can't have a good video game without pirates. And Camara Destroy All Monster Girls. Uh, it's a pretty fun game I found out about last year that it's kind of like, uh, I'm sure you hear this a lot, but it's kind of like Shovel Knight. Right? Yes, I definitely hear it. It's like Shovel Knight a lot, and it absolutely is. And I also noticed some other, uh, Mega Man based tropes, like, uh, for the introductory, uh, the introduction uh, to our hero, it's kind of a parody of how Mega Man was made and formed into a battle robot. Yeah, it's kind of the same idea. Yeah, only without the Wissy Warrior, uh, never fight again, like, I heard that was based off of. That was, okay, that, what I just described, was based off of in Mega Man Rock Force, but basically, <laughs> Chelsea was built as, a. Uh, Camara to uh, for housework, as I describe here, and then just last minute preparations. Yeah, the actual idea behind her is like kind of a proof of concept thing that you can make this kind of thing, and you um, don't have to make the hero into a whiny brat or anything like that. Sure. Yeah, that that was probably a bad way of putting it, actually. Also, yeah, the, the, sorry. Uh, sorry, you, you go first. The plot is kind of not really the big... Like, there's definitely some story, but I kind of made it sort of parody, sort of just jokes. Just something lighthearted to have between the, the action. Yeah, it's, uh, it's there, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it an excuse plot. It's more than that, at least. There's obviously something else going on, but we'll worry about that later. Also, I'm just gonna put this out of the way now. Whenever I look at Bernadette, I always th think she's a man first before I realize, wait a minute. Just because I can't draw. <laughs> uh, you're better at drawing sprites than I am. <laughs> this whole part, this is just... Uh, this... A lot of cutscenes in this game made made me laugh the first time I saw them, and they still do. This one, especially. I'm surprised the dialogue was so well received. I can't stand my own dialogue. I'm surprised when I'm reading it during, like, like watching Let's Plays, I'll just cringe, like, oh man, why did I write this? So that's why you didn't want me to read the dialogue. Oh, I can't, like, I can't listen to people read the dialogue. I'll just skip that part of the video. But I don't really see a lot of people's reactions. Um, and... Like, they're actually... Yeah, so seeing it unfold until we get to this part where you're beating up, beating up the guys. Yeah, so now this is now we're at gameplay and we have Pogo like Shovel Knight and a bunch with a golem arm. That's freaking amazing. I don't remember where I got the original idea for that. So for in terms of rules for this playthrough, I this is not a blind run. I know what I'm doing, but I might have needed to check a guide at certain points. Also, favorite character in the game right there, other than Chelsea, and that, uh, and one of the bosses, which we'll get to later. Okay, so what was I saying again? Rules. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was originally going to make this a deathless run in addition to a 100% run. That proved beyond my ability. So, uh, this, the deathless run is out, out of the way. And I'm not going for all A ranks. If they happen, they happen. The ultimate goal is that I'm gonna try to do deathless for the stages. If I die once to the boss, then so be it. And I'm getting 100% if one way or another. If I miss something first run through, then I'll just come back for it. So you're going for all items? Yeah. Would be the, probably the best way to put it. Because A, a ranks do count for 100% as well as uh, Berserk runs. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant for. 100%. In fact, whenever a 100% category for Camara speedrunning wise is made, there should probably also be an additional just all items and all stages run for the people who are want to keep their sanity. 
Yeah, it's definitely a lot of expectations for 100% this game. Yep. The farthest I've gotten is 97% so far. And I I didn't realize this my first playthrough, but much like the X games, uh, you can actually dash jump and that's a really fast method of movement just rather than just jump, air dash, air dash, air dash, air dash. Yeah. Actually, that was uh, an unintended glitch that I found pretty early in, when I was making the game, but it was really fun, so I had to never patch it out. Yeah, I'd say it, it helps a lot, and it it's one of those feature glitches. It's, I forget what those are actually called. Good bad bugs, a uh, uh, scented glitch, or... At this point, it's a mechanic. Ah, yeah. It just originally was a bug that, instead of fixing it, I accepted that this is the better way to go. And now it's just a thing she has. Yep. And as you can see, I am clearly very good at platforming. I did not miss that jump. I'm actually surprised at how um, I watched a lot of people play this game for the first time. They have a lot of trouble with that part. You really have to understand that you have the air dash and how it works so you can get up there. Yeah. And now that I think about it, I wonder if I could have gotten that one... Uh, there, there was an upgrade that I had to skip the first time through that. I wonder if I could actually have gotten that now that I Are think about it. Are you talking about that costume? Yeah. Yes, um, if you have the, uh, if you understand the, uh, jump dash, you can listen to jump dash to it. Yeah, I never thought about that, so I... <laughs> I might have to, when I go back through, uh, uh, Amelia's level, go back and just get that out of the way as well. There's actually, um, you actually be really quick, you can just jump and do a couple dashes and you can get over there. But it's really, it's pretty tight. Yeah. I feel like I actually could be one of the best speedrunners for this game, since I know the techniques. The problem is... I have a tendency to die a lot either just by tanking too much damage accidentally or, um, what's it, what's it, falling into pits and missing jumps, namely in the later levels. Maybe. Is this a, you know what, that's a pretty hefty play and they're almost in sub 50 minutes for this game. Yeah. I think the record is, um, 16 and a half, something like that. Okay, then, uh, this, uh, regards that, I could be a good speedrunner, that a better... That's better for that. If they've gone that low. I'm, I'm surprised how fast people can, can finish this game. When I, first, um, when I first did it, I think the fastest was just under half an hour. Yeah. I, with how fast I've seen some games go, it never surprises me anymore. I mean, once you've seen... Uh, 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 well, I can't even think of a good example. I would say a Sonic game, but... Come on, those are supposed to be fast. Should I say Shovel Knight's uh, Plague Knight campaign? Uh, How fast yeah. you can go in that game is pretty nuts. And even just the regular one. Like, all the skips that are possible there. I remember seeing the AGDQ uh, run where the guy said that... Oh, and also, I'd like to take a moment to hear say, I love how Mimi can't figure out where she's going. <laughs> I, I love that little attention detail. Everyone knows where they're going, except for Mimi. She, like, runs into two rocks before she finally makes it to the castle. <laughs> Mimi gets lost. Yep. Mimi, I... Mimi is one of my favorite characters in this game, just... She has a certain... She actually... She actually wasn't one of the characters that I designed. Uh, I did all the bosses except for her. Huh. Who designed her, then? A friend of mine named Moon. He, um... He helped about with a bit with the game. He designed uh, two NPCs and one of the bosses. Interesting. 